Hey y'all, Mama Snark here. It is Disney Day 2 for her little birthday trip. We got her little birthday button. We are headed to Epcot this morning. We're gonna have breakfast at Acker Shoes with the princesses. And she's dressed as Elsa, so we're gonna try to do Elsa at some point. <laughs> so she did Bippity Boppity Boutique yesterday and I didn't wash her hair but it worked really well for me to do an Elsa braid on her by having all of that like gook still in her hair. The gel actually formed like a texture so I could work with it because <laughs> she has very fine hair. But yeah, we're still in the Little Mermaid room as you can see behind me. We're having a super slow start this morning. Um, I actually woke up naturally at like 6.30 because we went to bed at like nine o'clock last night <laughs> to skip fireworks at Magic Kingdom. But yeah, so we're having a slow start to the morning. She's eating some snap peas. I'm eating some overnight oats to hold us over breakfast reservations at like 11.15, I think. And it's currently a little before 9. So just having a snack to tide us over. <clears throat> we are actually doing a split stay. So I've got to bring my luggage to Bell Services and have them transfer that to All Star Sports, which is our next resort that we'll stay in for the next four nights or three nights, something like that. But yeah, so we're going to pack things up here and then head over to Epcot. Go. You can go through it one more time. There she is. Oh, uh, no ma'am, don't do that. That's not safe. All right, you ready? That's okay. One more time. Doing a little pit stop at the Nemo playground. I do not like this playground because there are too many entrances and exits and I can't keep tabs on her and that stresses me out. All right, Weez, all done. Now that's you cool. Yeah, is it awesome? Can you say thank you so much? Yeah, no problem. Have an amazing birthday, and I love your ears. They're they're amazing. Yeah. Well, that was awesome. Thank you so much. So as we were getting on the Skyliner to Epcot, the transfer station at Caribbean Beach, a Skyliner cast member stopped and wished her happy birthday and said, let me see it, said she's got a special happy birthday pin for her and it's a Skyliner pin. That is so cool, we I want to wear it. You want to wear it? Okay, I can put it on you. But it's so nice. Huh. No, I don't Always be sure if cast members do something excellent like that to make your day or just give you a little bit of pixie dust, make sure you get their name on their name tag and where they're from and do a, do a cast member compliment on the Disney Experience app as a, a little way to thank them. This girl is just living her best life. When you arrive at each nation's earliest, <laughs> that reflection. <laughs> 
Head to Epcot. Visit to Epcot, a truly international exchange. Eiffel Tower and the big ball. Eiffel Tower. Yeah. gonna see how long the wait for Anna and Elsa is. We got 30 minutes to lunch. Perfect and it's 25 minutes. I think we can do it. This one unfortunately does not have DAS. Can go see Elsa? Yeah. All right. So let's hope mama can't hold out for that long. <laughs> she had a Christmas birthday party. <laughs> Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mama, too. <laughs> Thank you, Elsa. Oh, well, Mama, scan the magic band. Okay, you can scan yours too. Good job. I know. Mine, yours too. No, mine didn't. Yours is special. We had breakfast at Ackershoes in the Norway Pavilion. Highly recommend. Absolutely delicious. 
My kid loved the princess interactions. They take a lot more time with you when you do the character meals than whenever you're just doing the normal meet and greets. But stay tuned. I've got a full review of our breakfast here at Acker Shoes coming up. And then I'll also link my review from the dinner we did on our family trip in November down below for you. You ready to ride Frozen? check are you ready to go save the galaxy she wants to do guardians so headed to guardians of the galaxy got a strawberry lemonade at Doffery's. It's not good. <laughs> it's very sweet. I see him. He's catching butterflies. I don't know. The Winnie the Pooh. So his middle name is The. All right, so we did Guardians. We got Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Again, not my favorite, but decent enough. Did you like Did you like Guardians? Yeah. Yeah. So, got a little thumbs lemonade. up. Thumb, thumbs up, double thumbs up. That was a good one. So, we parked the stroller with the rain cover on it because these skies are starting to look bleak. So, we're at Figment. I think we're gonna go see if Mickey's available to meet with my Disney Visa card, since that's inside and right next to it. Ow! And then we'll go do Figment and reevaluate our life because y'all, that cloud is uh. <laughs> 
I don't like getting wet. So this is fun. <laughs> she likes getting wet. Oh yeah. I like to get my clothes wet. You like to get your clothes wet? Yeah. So we're gonna go see if Mickey's available to meet with my Disney visa. Go watch them. Make sure they don't get away. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh no, there it is. Whoa. My goodness. Y'all, sometimes you just gotta stop and take a break and let your kid watch the dancing water. It's very easy to get caught up in the go, 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 go. But look at her face right there. <laughs> sometimes you just gotta stop and let them enjoy the little moments. Monorail! All right, Weez, come on. Waiting to meet Mickey. Doing some ABC mouse hamsters. Oh. <gasps> Weez. Oh my goodness. How old are you, Weez? Four. Four years so that's old. A whole hand. That's a whole Mickey hand. Yeah. <laughs> then he's only got four fingers. Is that so silly? <laughs> oh. I know you got you got one goofy ear, ear, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you Elsa? Do you have ice powers? You have ice powers. Make it cold, right? She told Elsa, "I don't have ice powers." <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for figment. Figment time. She said she wanted to do figment so that she could tell her brother that she rode figment because this is her brother's favorite. She wants me to call Dad Dad and Man Cub to let them know that she's riding figment. Oh, so, yeah, baby, I'll tell them. What? All together, if you would please read line three. With their bunch of and empty, you can see things differently. And sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. One spark of light can light your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight. Can make your fancy fly. Figment, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good time. Stay. Whoa! You win one second. Figment, don't. watching TV upside down. How come he's not spilling popcorn? He's in the bathtub upside down. Oh goodness. He's looking for dinner upside down too, huh? Yeah. Terrifying part of the ride. Of inspiration. Of our 
creation right at the start of everything that's new. Guys, it's hot. <laughs> so it just rained. I stopped and got a popcorn refill. Got hers in her little cup. One of my pro tips always bring like a little plastic cup. So finally, <laughs> yes. Finally stopped running, but it is still thundering like there's a cloud coming. Yeah, so you would think a rain shower coming through would make it colder <laughs> or at least not quite so hot, but it's so humid. You can tell from my face. Just like dripping sweat. So we're gonna go ahead to. Oh, here it comes again. I can't tell if that's a tree spitting or if it's raining again. We're gonna go park at the Living with the Land area. Put the rain cover back on the stroller. Like I said, if there's any kind of clouds, put the rain cover on. Look at all that. Our stroller would have been soaked. And there's a couple of families next to us getting strollers that they're like, don't sit in it. They're soaking wet. Don't sit in it. So yeah, always put your rain cover if it looks even remotely like rain. I don't know if you can tell off in the distance there. We've got some pretty dark clouds coming. So we're going to do Soren and then living with the land. It might clear up. And hope that when we're done with those, the rain will have passed because I think it's only supposed to be rainy until like three-ish. And it is 2.45. So, fingers crossed. Careful, wees. living with the land and soaring I think the clouds have cleared up so I took the stroller cover off and being being a rebel risking it we're gonna go do spaceship earth now and then I have another lightning lane for guardians booked at like 435 it's 355 now There we are. 
so your family car will be equipped with virtual tools to teach you about the world outside your window. <laughs> and the moment you arrive, Are we in outer space? Whoa! Out We're astronauts. Get it. Nope, you get it. Go. No, it's hard. There you go. It's like you gotta put the thing on top and they don't work very well. All right, you can put them up. This is the exit to Spaceship Earth, all the cool games. So we are at the little playground right across from Flavors of Fire. Used to be Tiana themed and now it's Wally. I'm not gonna show too much of people's kids. And I'm gonna eat some corned beef hash from Flavors of Fire. <laughs> we got pickle fries covered in ranch here. Let me see, let me spear one for you. Pretty sure they, oop. There you go. This thing loves pickles and she loves ranch. How is it? Is it hot? A little bit? There's napkins right there. <laughs> yep, going back for it. Ooh, that is hot, baby. You might want to let it cool for a sec. Put it the half. Yeah. Hot. Mm. That's delicious. Mommy. She's drinking her popcorn. Thumbs up. <laughs> she just started eating her pickle fry and looked at me and goes, thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up for mama too. Got my girl a Mickey ice cream bar. Is that delicious? Yeah. And a white dress because I'm insane. <laughs> Careful not to spill it, okay? Good girl, you ate the ear first. She knows the way, huh? All right, sitting here, sitting here letting her enjoy her Mickey bar. I think she has thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> the chocolate has come right off the stick. I'm gonna need some OxyClean. <laughs> But look at that face. Is that a face of happiness? Yeah. <laughs> Haven't filmed a whole lot just because we've been around like a lot of kids and stuff like at the playground. Um, I didn't film my reaction to the corned beef stuff. Phenomenal. Highly recommend. I'd get that again coming back to Epcot. Um, did, like I said, didn't film it because I was watching her on the playground. So I had to have eyes on her the whole time. I couldn't like deviate to film me eating it because I needed to keep eyes on her. The amount of people, and I think it's a foreign thing too, like most places aren't like it is here, but I've seen way too many episodes of SVU. The amount of parents that just go and like sit and play on their phones while their kids are on the playground, like not paying attention to them at all, is just mind boggling to me. Like hubby and I, when we have them in public, our eyes are on them at all times. Like there's never a moment where we're not just like watching them like hawks but I mean I know other countries are different but like I cannot <laughs> so did that the pickle fries were good but they were hot like I think they were right out of the fryer and they were just falling apart so it was kind of hard to eat ended up making a mess but they were really good and then she said I told her to eat what she wanted to eat and I'd eat the rest and she goes it's gonna be just a stick she was right you need some more wipes, you know, wipe your hand and then wipe your face. <laughs> so she is thoroughly, no, don't worry about your dress. Mama will clean it later. You get your, here, let's get your hands. Sorry guys, got a mom for a second. Hold on, hold on. Yummy Mickey Yummy. Good enough. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what we're going to do next. Yummy. Might go try to find a little something else to eat. Or we might just go ahead and call it. It looks like some dark clouds are coming in and head back to the resort and call it a night. We've done everything except Remy's, which was down. So I'd call that a win.
get her some chicken tenders at the resort. She's not really feeling the food and wine food, but yeah, that's the game plan for now. decided to go with the white chocolate coconut. She said it's mostly coconut, which is perfect. She said they just use the white chocolate to coat the coconut flakes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth a stop when you're in France. All right, we made it to All Star Sports for our second hotel of the trip and the last <laughs> we're gonna stay here until we go home I think we are both I think we're both exhausted <laughs> it's just after 7 30 7 45 Epcot gets very crowded at night uh, especially a world showcase with food and wine people and locals going to uh, you know sample for snackages and stuff so there's just a lot of people like not moving out of the way and stopping in the walkways and stuff. She's having fun. Yeah, so we are in All Star Sports now. We're gonna go find our room and then I'm going to pay them to bring my luggage up to my room. My groceries. Because I am tired. Dang. So this pool is like right off the lobby. The other one's like you walk a little ways before you get to the pool. We are in building nine, which is that way, I believe. Cool bar, mama might hit up later. Football one, we can go through the football one. I think we're through it. It's pretty cool looking, huh, Weez? We did stay here one night of our family trip last November because we decided to add on a night and Pop was sold out for that day so we ended up adding on a night here before we moved to Pop last time. Yeah, so we're... Okay, let's go find our room first. Maybe let's go do a helmet one. The helmet one? We can go through it. How's that sound? Then got the fire pit going with the marshmallows. So this is our second resort. Got the room assignment from my Disney experience, so I did not even go to the lobby to check in. We're gonna go find our hotel room. All right, so this is our room, 9147. It's dark, that thing is not on yet. At least our magic band works at this one. All right, come in little bees. Ooh, uh, it is not easy getting a stroller <laughs> into a hotel room by yourself. Yay! All right, beautiful. So this is our room. We have all of our own stuff. Yeah. What do we have? All our own toilet, our own shower. All our own stuff. And our own seat. My goodness. And our own mirror. Our own mirrors. And our own bed. Our own bed. You want to take your shoes off? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, let's get comfy, and huh? Our, um, TV. Our own TV. And our own drawers. Own drawers. And own microwave. No, no microwave. Yeah, they're That's a safe. What is it? A safe. It's to put things. Oh. We got a fridge. We have our own fridge and our own cabinets. <laughs> That's a window. We have our own window. <laughs> and we it's have hilarious. Yeah, that pulls down into a bed. Yeah. yeah, we don't need it though because we're both gonna sleep in that bed. What? You wanna sleep in that one by yourself? Or you wanna sleep with mama? Sleep with me. Yeah, that's what I thought. But I want you to sleep with me on this No, we're gonna sleep in this one because it's already out. <laughs> she just told me we're gonna put that in there. There's no oven, baby. That is a lot of pizza sauce on one pizza. You might wanna scoop some of it off of that and do it on the other ones or you're gonna have no more pizza sauce for that. I only want two plain pizzas. Okay, that's fine. She got a pizza lunchable. Just had Bell Services deliver bags and my groceries. I had Walmart delivery set. Um, always be sure to tip the cast member that brings your stuff. I mean, they're like packing waters and stuff. And then it's a $6 charge to your room if you have them bring it up to your room versus you going down to Bell Services and picking it up for free. I 100% am fine paying a tip in $6 charge to have them deliver all of this to my room so that I don't have to at the end of a long day. Dad. Yeah? On the TV, left behind you. Oh. This little girl's just eating cherry tomatoes. That's one of her favorite snacks, huh? <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for day two Epcot day. We are beat. We are going to take a bath and we're going to go to bed. We've got rope dropping Hollywood Studios in the morning. So we'll see you then. Make sure you're subscribed so that you can follow along for those adventures. Keep a lookout for those videos to come. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe and follow along. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye, Goblins. Bye, Goblins. <laughs>